Okay, so here's a quick video on how to use the Apogee API console for making REST calls in the Salesforce. Now, Apogee has a nice little video here you can watch for more information, but I just wanted to put something together specifically for the Apex REST services. So the first thing you want to do is, once you get to the screen, is you want to authorize access for the API with OAuth. It's going to ask for my credentials here to my dev org, and it's going to sign me in here. So first thing I want to do is I might want to go ahead and test it out and just grab an account and view an account. So let me go get an account ID first. And let's grab this account right here. And I'll copy the ID. All right, so go down here to the S object and get. So I'm going to put the uh, ID in here. And then the S object type is account. And then I'm going to run get. All right, so there's my object here coming back. So now if I want to go ahead and actually create an Apex REST service and call that, this is how I would do that. So here's my REST service I created. It's very simple. It's called account services, the URL. And it, all it's going to do is return a single account object, the ID and the name. Very, very simple. So if I want to do that, um, I can go ahead and substitute the URL in here. So let me go ahead and get this. So this is what the URL is going to look like. It's going to be the instance slash services slash apex rests slash the account name. And the account name here is the name of the that I put in here in the URL mapping. All right. So now if I call that get, I'm going to go ahead and return the account name and the ID. So that's how simple that is. And you can use this to test your, your um, application because it has get, post, put. Um, so you can go ahead and test that. So that's a good way to test your services before writing a client to make sure you got things done. So that's a quick intro on using the Apogee console.